Hi everyone and welcome to week six of Tides of Change. Uh, we are missing one player this week because he's got to make tolls. So he's got he's got to do it for uh, an event next week. Or is it the week after? I can't remember. Um, so we're going to introduce, uh, run round and introduce everyone. So we're going to start, we're going to go clockwise around the table. So we're going to start with Wookie. Wookie, if you'd like to introduce yourself and your character for me, please. Uh, Wookie Wang. Uh, I play Brody, who is a cleric of God Keanu, Lord of Sun and Surf. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Clayton. I play Carl Rogers, who is a thief and is a troublemaker extraordinaire. And last but not least, Weefs. Hi, I'm Weefs. I play a character named Shara, who is an elven bard. She is from a very rich family, incredibly naive, but determined to discover new things and come back with amazing stories. Mm -hmm. And you haven't even been home yet. Even though and you she's not even been say. home yet. She's possibly going to get arrested. <laughs> right, so just just for our purposes and just to remind ourselves, because it has been a week, uh, Claytor's going to give us a recap. All right. Um, so we came into town on the ship. Uh, the docks are overstocked and full because they are currently on strike. Uh, we went to go see the guy uh, who wanted us to get the book originally, and he uh, was dead. Uh, and I broke into his house to find out he was dead. Um, then Brody decided to raise him from the grave, and he got stabbed because of it. Uh, we found a secret key and a vault behind his fire, or a, a uh, a vault, I guess, would be behind the picture frame. A, a safe. Picture. A safe. There we go. Thank you. have been you. playing too much arc. I've been <laughs> playing way too much arc. <laughs> we caught a vault hidden behind a picture. It's the size it was... of a wall. <laughs> well, they they, did, they did recently shrink them now, so they are tinier. Okay. I uh, that. Um. Anyways, uh, when we took that, then we went to the bar and had a private conversation. Uh. From there, uh, I somebody was spying on us, and I chased after them. And after catching up with them in a brief conversation, I got arrested. Uh, <laughs> and so did he. <laughs> and I... What was... Where did the rest of the group go? I think they're looking for me, or looking for... No. Oh, Should yeah. I, I, I take over the R bit? Yeah, take, take over, because after that, I was like, this is out of character knowledge. I don't need to know this. <laughs> okay, so Carl went chasing off after the guards. Shara also tried to chase after the guards, but fell over a vegetable stand and mm -hmm. had to limp her way back to the restaurant or the, the wine bar that we were in. Mm -hmm. And eventually found out that Brody had spoken to the guys in the restaurant and discovered that the man who we thought was spying on us worked over at the council hall. Is that right? Yes. So, booting it. I met up with Brody. Shara met up with Brody. We had a look around the council hall, and since Shara's family is very prominent in this town and actually on the council, she thought she just waltz right in and start looking through the dude's office. And the other people that the spy guy, his name is Seb, right? Yeah, Sebastian. Sebastian, yes. The other people that share an office with Sebastian did not take kindly to a random elf and a random tourist rifling through his things and called the guards and i believe that's where we left off is that right i thought you'd left the well we tried building. to talk to the guards i possibly i know i was trying to leave and brody was trying to talk to them and i kept trying to tell brody to leave and i yeah we, we leave. did we we did make it outside without getting arrested did we yes excellent go I, us i'm gonna say you did make it outside the building without getting arrested but with a stern warning from the guards yes probably. we are very suspicious characters now and thyra just went off and read his book and he's off somewhere reading his book he's yeah he he's in the care. library he's he went book. mia and just yeah. ditched us he was supposed to meet me there and then never came <laughs> <laughs> so we're actually going to jump uh, so actually, let's find out what you're going to do. So, um, Shara and Brody, what are you doing? What, what's your next plan of action? Are you?
We, Brody, have we actually <laughs> learned anything new about Sebastian, aside from that his name's not Seb Sebastian? We know he works here. I didn't, I don't think I managed to see anything on his desk. Did you? No, no, I didn't notice anything. I was just talking to those other dudes. Oh, the bean downers. Which is a well, really weird practice. Why are they counting beans? I, I'm not going to go there. We <laughs> need to find Carl. <laughs> Last I saw, he was racing towards the the guy, but I lost track of him completely. I couldn't even figure out where he went. Um, does he? Is there like a rogues? Why am I asking you if there's a rogues guild here? <laughs> we need to you find probably, a dodgy bar. You probably wouldn't know. No, I wouldn't, but I would go, I know the wrong side of tracks. Let's go to some dodgy bar and ask around. I'm sure they'll help us. Uh, Thyret was supposed to, like, meet me here. Should we, like, leave him a note or something? Uh, what, just, like, stuck to the wall? Uh, I guess if that's what you guys do here, I mean... That is not what we do here. <laughs> He's got his book. He's probably gone off to the library or something. Uh, uh okay. Like, I don't know. I guess you know where that is. I don't know. <sighs> is that not something about a library, too? Sorry, what was that? Uh, I, I seem to remember talking something about a library. I don't know. He's probably there. I'm sure he is. I really don't want to start fighting with the librarians to try and talk to him, so let's not go there. All right, we'll go find Carl <laughs> first, and then we'll but find Thyret later. We could leave well, a note there. Sorry, it is starting talking. to get dark as well. It is sort of like it's it's sort of like middle of the well late afternoon now, and sort of like right. things are starting to close down. Everyone's starting to wind down. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go home. Let's go to my place. We can regroup there. I got drinks. We got food. We'll say hi to my parents. We got loads right. of spare rooms. You can chill. sleep there. You should go check out the music festival too. There's a music festival. <laughs> <gasps> yeah. All those Is there a music stuff. festival? Ah, I can play. Maybe I'll meet someone else that has an automatone. <laughs> Motherfucker, I left it on and the battery's dead. Oh, oh no! Yeah. <laughs> no healing this week. You say that, I have she... a lot of batteries. <laughs> I mean, no my... Until she replaces oh no! Them. My loot appears to be damaged. We should definitely go to this... this place and see if we can get someone to repair it. The market. Yes, we can do that tomorrow. Wait, is Batteries. it on tonight? Okay, tomorrow? it sounds like a good plan. What music festival? Place with all the tents <laughs> outside. Oh, right. yeah, they're going to love that. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Oh, man. So, all right, lead the way, because, like, I don't know where the hell I'm going. <laughs> all right, we okay. walk towards my place, which is okay. not that far, actually. And there's a swipe. You know, you know crossfade. Like you do, crossfade or whatever, Star Wars I disappear thing. Here briefly in order to get, get some batteries. batteries. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, Carl. Yes. Was that was that a delayed or something? Yes. All right. I'm, I'm, like, I'm being somber because I've been about to be jailed. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, so you're taken back to like a, a nearby watch house. Quite, you know, you know, you know, you know, quite roughly. You know, they're not they're not being shy about it. You know, they push both of you in, and they uh, and they they one the guy behind the uh, desk is sitting there with his pencil. He looks up. Name? Uh, Carl. Carl what? Uh, Roberts. Where are you from, Roberts? You don't sound like you're from this area. Uh, oh god, what was that other town I made up? Um, it wasn't Gemerald. That, well, that's where you were from. Yes, Gemerald. but I don't have to say that. True. Uh, uh, what was that other town? Uh, I should write that down. Uh, Gemerald. If you look on Chambers, if you look on Chambers of Roleplay, oh yeah, we have there. there, huh? Yeah, you've got a Ricky that you can refer to. Carl, the master of unnecessary lies. <laughs> <laughs> unnecessary. Um, 
check here. See, bros, uh, Brickwick from Brickwick. Right, writes your name. He writes that down. Okay, if you'd like to empty your pockets. Uh, sure. Um, here's some food. Here's some uh, vials. <laughs> here's a dagger, a short sword, a bow. You haven't got a dagger. <laughs> oh yeah, no dagger. Here's a sword, some bow. Here's a backpack. Here's another vial. Uh, don't drink that vial. You can drink the other three, though. Um, here's some coins and uh, how much coin did you put? How much coin did you put down? Uh, Eighty-seven. They look at uh, that, and then they look at your a, 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 a attire. And I put down. My, uh, you know, this is my mother's necklace. It's an heirloom, and I can't get. Please, that's very precious to me. Is that the necklace around your neck? Oh, wait. I don't have to take that off. I forgot I'm wearing that. I forget that. <laughs> no, that stays on me. This is my mother's. I can't take it off. I'm sorry. Get naked, Carl. Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, if you want to put him in cell two for me, please. And then one of the guards sort of grabs you by the uh, arm and sort of like starts, you know, hoisting you down a corridor towards a, a cell door. Okay. And then you and then you can hear <laughs> no the, resistance. You can hear the other guy going, I work for the council. I work for Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not the only one that's gonna look stuff up. <laughs> Where have I put my books? Bollocks. I don't know. Give us a discern realities. <laughs> I need to roll. Uh, yeah, I work for uh, Lord uh, Lord uh, St uh, Lord Stan. I went for the easiest one to pronounce. <laughs> yeah, Lord Stan. <laughs> Actually, no. Let's go for Radu, uh, Lord Radu. Okay. Radu. Well, and then you just hear them go. If you like to empty your pockets, we'll give you one phone call. Uh, I'll look around as I'm going to the cell. Like, is there anybody else here? <laughs> One phone call. Uh, there are a few. You can hear a few. That you can few, hear a few. Like, you know, I'm innocent. And all that bollocks. Yeah, I'm innocent. Fresh meat. Blah 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And you're you're led inside the cell, and the guard turns to you as you sort of like goes to leave to close the door. No funny business. Uh, uh, can I get a sandwich? You'll get fed twice a day. Uh, what about my third meal? There's three. Closes of the ten. door. Oh, <laughs> the, uh, you know the the, the slidey bit on doors on, yeah. on like cell doors. He slides it across, <laughs> walks off. Oh. <clears throat> what do you do? Uh, well, first I want to get a uh, look around at my surroundings. So you're in a probably about a uh, four foot by six foot room. There's mm -hmm. a bed, a basin under the bed mm -hmm. for pissing in. And uh, that's about There's, it. Is there a window? There is a barred window uh, facing. Um, yeah, there is a barred window that faces out uh onto uh one of the streets but you're not sure which street uh can i is it like eye level with me or do i have to jump up and no, look it's, out it's, or... it's right it's right at the top of the uh 
building right at the top of the between the so right right at the join between the ceiling and the the wall. Mm. So I'd have to like and it's, stand and, and on it's the bed. Lit- it's literally like about a foot, if that, half a foot. Like it's <laughs> about that big. No, I'm not going to be able to. Uh, you could jump up. Bit. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. It wouldn't take much to jump up there and have a look. Uh, yeah, I'll try that. I'll try jumping up and have a look. Like grab the bars and pull myself up. Okay, you can you you, you can see there's a lot of bars across the window. Yeah, and you can see like um, people milling about out, you know, walking back and forth, um, just going about their daily business, and the sun is starting to set as well. Oh, great! It's going to be dark. Can I get a pillow? Just shot that down the hall. I'll pay for the pillow. Feel like I'm gonna be here for a while. Uh, kind of rustle the 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 cell door. Yep. Try to get high. Yep. Uh, is, uh, let's see. Um, is there anything that seems loose on it or uh, no? Um, that's not right. Uh, is it like a brick or like what's what's the wall? Walls like brick or the, the walls are plastered. It's probably brick, but it's got pla- it's got plaster. Up. They've plastered the sides of the walls, so okay. it's just smooth. Okay. Um, I'm going to sit on the bed uh, since I gave. Well, fish. it's. I mean, it's only plastered on the wall facing the door. Uh, the rest of it's just like brickwork. Well, rocks. You, you know where you know it's made. You know, like cast. Cobble, is it cobblestone? No, it would be it's like castle yeah. wall, like how a Masonry. castle wall would be built. Masonry, yeah, okay, brick and mortar, but it's not like kiln bricks. It's sort of just it's rocks. stone, yeah, stone. <laughs> it's stoned. Stone. Um, <laughs> so the worshiper of Keanu. Yeah, yeah, worship, worship Keanu. Okay. Uh... Uh, look for it and see if there's a loose brick. Loose anywhere. brick. Loose, loose cobblestone, loose stone. All right, give us a discern reality roll, please. Discern reality. Uh, wisdom. I rolled a five. Mark XP. <laughs> Joy. <laughs> so you're sort, of, you're sort of like touching every brick. Mm-hmm. And you're so focused on this. You're so focused on... um trying to find something that may not be there. You mm-hmm. don't hear and don't notice the door open. What do you think you're doing? I'm just looking around. These stones are interesting. As someone as as a Wait, guard what? walks in his as a guard walks in, he's holding um a, a kosh in his hand. He goes oh. I think you should uh step away from the wall. <laughs> okay. I mean, you want like where do you want me to stand then? Technically, I'm always near a wall in this case. We should sit on your bed and not do anything. But that's near the wall. Don't get cheeky, and he he, he <laughs> brings his hand up to hit you. What do you do? Uh. Oh God, what do I do? Um. He hits you with the kosh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> Because you took too long. Uh, no, it's more not that. It's more like, why am I being hit? Uh, take four damage. Ow! As uh, he sort of like hits you in the side. Fine. I'll have a fucking seat on the bed, even though that's even against your rules. Fucking sit down on the bed. Do you want, do you want more of this? Do you want more no, of this, mate? No, no, it's fine. You can go do about your business. What do you need? Like, all I'm doing is just looking around. I'm bored. I don't have anything. <laughs> yeah, you don't have anything. He, he turns around and leaves the uh, leaves the cell, closing the door behind him. I swear to God, I'm going to stab him later. <laughs> I'm going to memorize that face. <laughs> um... That I, I'm gonna sit and wait for my meal. I guess like I got nothing to do. 
Okay, so you're sitting there for a few hours, and eventually, like, a, uh, there's a slide at the bottom as well. They sort of like slide it open, and this tray gets pushed in with some s sort of slop. I ask, just say, for, I ask for a sandwich. And the door closes, and there's a bit of bread on the side. Oh, okay, that works. Bread and gruel, great. This is this is classy. I thought you guys were classier than this. <laughs> It's actually some sort of stew of some sort. It's not gruel, it's some sort of stew. Okay. You said slop, so that's what I immediately went to. Uh, okay, so it's stew. Okay, this is this is pretty good. Great. Can I get the recipe? Can I get the recipe? Uh, that's, when the you notice, that's when you notice there's like maggots crawling across the bread. There seems to be like... Recipe. Uh, there seems to be like dead insects in, 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 in the slop. Can I push it and back out? And, <laughs> and there's this, and there's this nice, and there's a nice like film of fat that's sort of like sort of shimmering on top of the uh, on top of the actual like liquid. Can I slide this back out the little hole, or is it all well, no, the, 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 It's been closed. It's been closed since you uh, got went bit since it's been pushed through. I'm just gonna push it over into the corner with my foot and be like, "Well, oh, I'm done with this now. Now that I notice these things, I'm done with this." <laughs> <laughs> this is the adventures of Carl being in prison. Um, yeah, uh, I'm gonna knock on the door. Hey, I'm done with this food. Can you can you come get it? The thing slides open. Do you want to uh, step back from the door, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I would step back. And he closes it again. Wait, are you not coming to get the fucking tray? Like, what are you, what? Knock on the door again. Okay. You hear footsteps approaching the door. I said step back from the door. I'm, I'm asking what I'm being, oh, actually, what am I being held for? Closes it. Uh, sorry, before he closes it, step back from the door. Uh, no. <laughs> I it's, I feel like that's a fair question. Uh, you hear him sort of turn to, like, cool down the corridor. We've got a difficult one here. How am I being difficult? I'm being reasonable. And you can hear uh, more footsteps coming down the thing. Oh, I suggest you step... He, he under... Uh, this, guard undoes the, uh, undoes the slider again and goes, I suggest you step away from the door and be quiet and shut up. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Unless you want a good beating. Uh, I am friends with... Oh, fuck. I forgot her last name. Damn it. Well, <sighs> we're, fr we're friends with someone as well. Close yeah, it. well... Have friends with your mom. No. <laughs> Click. <laughs> door swings like that. Where are you standing? I'm back from the door. Okay, the door slams, sort of like fling, flies open as the guard walks in with a kosh and another guard walks in. What did you say about my mum? I said she's a lovely woman. What did you say about my mum? I said she's a lovely woman. She uh, raised uh, a good bring, guy. He brings his kosh up. And goes to hit you. I'm going to move out of the way. Okay, give us the fire danger roll based on dex, please. All right, roll it. 13. Yeah, you sort of effortlessly dodge the um, the kosh. Uh, you actually <laughs> spot... You, you, there is an opening. You could potentially get out of the, uh, get out of the cell. Uh, I'm going to get out of the cell and slam the door on him. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you, you sort of like... Sort of like dart through the sides of the, between the two, <clears throat> up to the back of the door, or up to the the, the entrance or exit or whatever way it is, because it's both, isn't it? It's an exit and an entrance. Mm -hmm. uh, and you pull the door to, lock it. Yep, I lock it. Um, you step back away from the door and walk off. <laughs> okay. You walk off. Where are you heading? Yeah. 
Uh, I'm gonna be careful and uh, look around for where they store stuff so I can find my things. Okay, you can hear there's other guards in other rooms as well. Yeah. These aren't uh, the only guards who just locked away. Oh, I know. Uh, there's there's going to be more. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, you know, be as best as I can to find my way out and uh, um, tread carefully. Okay, do you want to give us a Defy Danger roll based on decks as you sneak around? Damn it. <laughs> Partial. Eight. I got an eight. Okay, you... You do see an, a, a moment to exit. You can hear the guards slam, banging on the doors, trying to, you know, screaming at the top of their voice to get out. But no yeah. one's paying any much attention to them. They may draw attention at some point, but right now they're not. <laughs> um, but you do know you could get... There, you, you, there is an opportune time for your freedom right this second. Uh... Um, I'll take it. I'll take the opportune time. Damn it. I okay. want to get my things, but I can't. I can't. Okay, do you want to mark off all your things? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, dungeon rations. Zero. I have to remake all my poison. No short sword. No bow. No arrows. Uh, no big ass gem. <laughs> no, no, yeah, uh, no ruby. Oh shit, I forgot about the gem. <sighs> Damn it. Um, no, no gear. Just don't delete it all. Just in case you might get it back, but just 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 put. Have you deleted it? Well, write it down quickly before you forget what it was. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so I'll get out. Yeah, you managed to sort of like dart out of the front the front door. No one notices that you you've slipped out. They will notice you slipped out. They have a name. They probably know what you look like as well. True. <clears throat> um, that's short sword. And that was... Oh, no. That goes there. All right, so I'm out. Uh, I'm going to get away as fast as possible and find my way back to that bar. Um, okay. And then... Uh, once there, I'm gonna ask: Have you seen uh an elf and a crazy guy <laughs> and we're an old at, guy? Well, we're looking at one right now. No, I'm the sane one. Trust me. So, no, he's not. <laughs> Who are you looking for? Uh, Shara and a Shara cleric named Brody. Shara left here ages ago. She went to the council building. Council building? Can you direct me to that, please? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's it's in the centre of the city. Well, that makes sense. Why the hell didn't I think of that? All right. Cool. Uh, thank it's in the, you. Uh, it's in the posh part. Posh part. All right. Go into the posh part. Um, so I was like, thank you. I'll be by later. Uh, <laughs> Quick aside, was he still carrying the books? No. I don't Tyrant know whatever happened to the books. Tyrant took all my books. We stashed them all in... No, wait, was that the other end? That Tyrant the other probably end. took all the books, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say, if you just lost the books, Tyrant is really going to kick your ass. He wouldn't let me have a book because I told him I sold them all. I was just waiting for Thyret to like find out that you went to jail and uh, got all your books confiscated. By the <laughs> And then just fireball you in the fucking face. <laughs> Partially what I do that as well. He probably did. Magic missile you with your own yeah. so, clothing. So we're gonna swipe back to um 
Shara and um, Brody. Um, so yeah, you're so you're but now both sitting around a dinner table, basically a dining room table, as um, as your parents sit at the far end, the, the far end of the um, far end of the table. Um, it's like a pea soup's been delivered, delivered, served. Delivered to the table. It's not delivered. It's delivered now. It's DiGiorno. <laughs> yeah, um, we ordered takeout, and this is what you got. <laughs> yeah, so um, because obviously they're rich, they've got servants like serving oh, yeah. food. Um, we got poor people delivering food. Um. They're rich and are eating pea soup. Uh, hey, you, it's only a starter. Uh, We're Brody, healthy. You, you, you did get... I mean, they are looking at you Must a bit be a weirdly because uh, they are looking at Brody very strangely. Um, they're a bit hands-off, not really knowing how to deal with a peasant that you brought into the house. I'm not a peasant. <laughs> you are to them. You don't even understand money. Uh, it's, it's, what's no sort of respect understand? for commerce. <laughs> Um, so they're like, oh, so how was your trip over to um, Gunda Village, uh, Shara? It was amazing. We saw horses. <laughs> we saw, we saw Bandit Camp. Oh, my God. I'm going to write the best song about the Bandit Camp. B- Bandits? Yeah. Like, we didn't go into the camp. I'm not crazy. I told you. I was going out. I met Brody. He's going on adventures. I went out to play my, my loot here that your friend gave me and to write songs and come back and bring stories of the world around outside Caravana. So we saw bandits. You know, bit of danger, bit of excitement. Wouldn't be much of a story if I came back and went all like, oh, I went to the beach and I watched the sun. What's wrong with watching the sun at the beach? It's, yeah, that sounds fine and safe. It's not a news story, though, is it? It's not. It's not Was bringing it, tales of the world that the people uh, of Caravana don't already know. If they want to do that, they could go to the beach. Your your not mother pips, your mother pips up and goes, "Was it dangerous?" Not for me. I stayed back in the woods. Carl, however, he's our <laughs> I was friend. Gonna say. Yeah, Carl's the only one who was in a real danger. He was amazing. We met a wizard, and he cast spells. I've never seen people cast spells. But yeah, he cast a spell on Carl, and Carl just turned straight up invisible. It was great. He's like walking around inside the camp, listening oh, to people. Oh, don't forget about the lizard kitties. Oh, the, oh my god, the lizard kitties. Don't tell them about the lizard kitties, Wookie. <gasps> what? what? What lizard kitties? You uh, said Wookie. <laughs> I mean, Brody. <laughs> Oh, there were these Don't tell me about the Wookiees either. It... What's a Wookiee? Uh, I, <laughs> I, it's a thing I heard about in my travels at the bar. And that tent, the tent had fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Wookiee said they look, absolutely, they look absolutely horrified. <laughs> um, um, Mom, it's fine. It's fine. You know, I had to look, go out and see the world at some point. Look, we, we understand you enjoy these adventures. We didn't expect them to be dangerous. We, we're kind of worried about your safety, uh, Shara. No, it's, ca- it's cool. Look, I have a rapier now. And I whip out the rapier and start waving it across the table. I oh can God. totally keep myself your, safe. Your father looks a bit annoyed. Do not whip your wife... Uh, uh, rape your wafer. Do not whip do you your not, wafers. Do you not? Uh, that was me pronouncing R. It was a W. Oh, no. uh, do you not? Do you not whip your rapier out at the dinner table? Do you not know your manners? Have you suddenly forgotten manners? I'm sorry, sorry, Dad. But I mean, really, what is the point of sending me to all these fencing lessons if I can't go out and use them? The competitions, which aren't deadly. <sighs> they kind of are. Well, I mean, if you don't dodge right, it's very easy to get stabbed in the arm. All that flapping. Your mother goes, so, so have you, have you killed someone? 
Uh, this pea soup is great. Oh, it is lovely, yes. Can I get some more? Start looking around. Sure, well, starts looking around, snapping her fingers at the help. More pea well, soup, please. Well, we've got three other courses to eat. Oh, oh, yes, of course. Of course. Sorry, all that time on the road. Eating. <gasps> Did you hear about... Oh, my God. People don't know how to make sandwiches outside Caravana. It's so weird. <laughs> they put the bread well, on the you... outside. Your, your father looks horrified again. Oh, don't mention... Don't mention that. That started the sandwich war. I have no idea what that is, but it's it's very, very strange. <laughs> is it called the sandwich war? I thought it was know, called the it? sandwich war. <laughs> this, is, this is your lore. I feel like I should have known that if I didn't know that. If, <laughs> if it was actually called the sandwich war. Well, in it's human quite... tongue, it's sandwich war. In elven tongue, it's something un illegible, like the... Um... All right. Oh, God. Maybe it's a euphemism. Or like, yes, it's called the Great Elven Schism of whatever year it happened. And humans yeah, are like, oh, I feel the like sandwich the war. euphemism of the sandwich war would be something completely different. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh... Also, we, I will have you know, and you'll never hear about this from anywhere else, are single-handedly responsible for maintaining the fish supplies from Gunder Village. So you can thank me for a fish stew. <laughs> How are you responsible? Uh, please enlighten us. Oh yeah, we totally negotiated that whole bandit thing. That way they could keep making the fish. Yeah, the Chowder. bandits are trying to burn down Chowder. The bandits are trying to burn down the ships. And Brody Chowder. here. Brody, tell them how you saved the fishing the fishing boats oh yeah i totally called upon keanu and he brought in a totally righteous wave to put out all the fire and save the fishing fleet oh that's that's wonderful yeah it was pretty righteous <laughs> they actually but, have some okay surfing it's not really you see, the best you, uh shari you see your parents look at each other like they didn't just understand a word he just said Shara doesn't care. Shara is too busy getting all excitable about adventures. So what, oh, my dad what brings always you... look like that. It's fine. <clears throat> so what, what brings you back home, then? Oh, yeah, the dark elf thing. That's right. We were supposed to come and tell you something about a bunch of dark elves are fighting, coming towards the town. Um, dark elves? That's what they dark said. Well, Dark Hills haven't been seen on in 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 the lands in thousands of years. What, what well, are you we didn't about? see him either. But according to when Carl was running around invisible, uh, listening to the bandits, they definitely said they were raising an army to fight some dark elves, who had tried to attack somewhere. I forget where. Well, where? they were coming this way. That's why we came here. Oh, they were attacking Gunder Village, and we were supposed to come here. Is that right? Were we supposed to come here and beseech you guys to help? Or did we decide not to do that? I don't know. I thought we were just delivering books. I read one of the books. I'm sure there was something about the Dark Elves, though. Maybe that was so the wait. dude that we saved. The yeah, bandit leader guy. Up. What was his name? So, so where, are you, other, where are your other little friends? Uh, Thyred's probably reading somewhere. I don't know if he's got, like, if, if he's renting a room or whatever. Carl, good question. Carl was off to chase a thief. A thief? Yes, no, a spy. There was a guy, oh man, we were down in the bar, which is cold. You know that, that wine bar that I always used to go to in the Fancy Pants area? Anyway. Uh, oh, yes. The ivy? The ivory? The ivory, that was it. Yeah, so we were down in the ivory. You know my little room in the corner there? Well, we were talking about stuff. And then I looked at the cur curtain, and this little weird guy was, like, I'm sure he was spying on us. He scampered away as soon as he saw me. So, Carl went down to chase him. I also went down to chase him. I may have fallen over a vegetable cart, but I'm fine. I'm fine. It's okay. Do we need and a doctor? And then Carl disappeared. No! Uh, oh, Maybe, but my wrist feels okay, actually. Not too bad. I think I'll be all right. A little bruised. Well, it sounds 
terribly dangerous. You can't shelter me forever, Mum. You can't just wrap me in cotton wool. I was running down the street and I fell over a vegetable cart and that's the only injury I got in this entire adventure. Come on. Uh, except for yes. the books you we were hiding ban? in the books. What? Except for when you were hiding in the books. What books? I didn't get injured. I don't know. You had a little bruise. Oh, and that time where Thyrite threw the notes and set them on fire and then set me on fire. That was also. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. But I'm fine, Mom. <laughs> Everything is okay. Remember the loot? She looks Turns out even the loot more horrified. is magical. And if I play a little tune, which it does actually kind of work. Oh, hey, it works now. <laughs> if I play a little tune, everybody feels better. And it's great. I just played that. The burns went away. Uh, Brody here is also a cleric, so he prays to his god. And wounds heal. We're all good. We're all okay. So and and everyone is safe. The, uh, your father turns to Brody and goes, w w What god is this? Oh, it's Keanu, dude. Lord of Sun and Surf. Oh, that god. Oh, okay. <laughs> looks, look, looks, to, looks to the mother with that sort of expression like, Lay about. <laughs> <laughs> if an expression could, if an expression could be said of what he was giving his mother, that his wife, it was. There's a lay about in this house now. <laughs> Couch surfer. Totally unfazed. <laughs> totally doesn't phase Brody. <laughs> Couch surfing one hundred and two. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so the mill progresses. Y your parents start like saying that well, we'd be more happy if we could perhaps pay someone to help. You know, guard you. Would you be? You know, we're gonna we're gonna you know put an ad in the paper or notice boards. Um, we'd much rather someone protect our our little princess if uh, if if. Uh, Rather, you know, rather than you going out this in the world with, well, <laughs> your, your little friends, we'd rather pay <laughs> some <laughs> expert. Okay, some, you don't some need expert. to sell me on it. As long as he's cool, he better be cool. He better be up for adventure and excitement and writing new stories. Well, we'll we'll, we'll get we'll we'll get we'll get that we'll get that sorted out for you before you leave. Yes, good. Dude, I hope this guy's not a dillweed. Um, eventually, obviously, the, the meal changes and a boar's brought in. And, oh, you know, man. they start they start cutting bits of meat off and putting it on plates and with, like, roast potatoes and, like, a bit of roast onion and some parsnips and, and they pour some gravy over it and they start, you know... Placing the plates in front of you. I am you so glad I had a roast dinner this afternoon. Fill up <laughs> your I'm wine thinking. goblets <gasps> with, with a red wine of some sort, an elven red wine um, that's grown in the garden here. You know, the grapes are grown here in the, this very garden. And um, yeah, uh, the mill progresses. They, they basically ask about your adventures. They get more and more horrified and absolutely petrified about their daughter not coming back one day um so yeah you can definitely tell that your father's brain is like thinking i need to hire some sort of bodyguard for her i feel like i make a perfectly good bodyguard you very much do not so we'll swipe <laughs> we'll, we'll swipe back to uh we'll swipe swipe back to carl so carl you where you, where you you're heading to the um the main area, aren't you? are heading to the um, council building. Yeah. Correct. Yes. Okay. When you arrive there, it's closed. Oh, fuck. Oh. This is a dead end. Um. Knock on the door. Might have a guard inside. Who knows? On duty. Well, there's a guard. There is a guard posted outside. Have you seen a creepy, weird, uh, uh, creepy, uh, crazy, uh, follower of Keanu and an elf named Shara? He just called me creepy. He did. Well, he called <laughs> one of us creepy. I don't know which one. <laughs> Lucky we're not here to hear him. Right. 
Creepy. <laughs> no Look, roast for you. Jesus. No more it's... papaya slaw for you, dude. Damn it. <laughs> you thought the prison food was bad. Wait till I serve up next. <laughs> uh, uh, Shara who? Uh, Shara, her dad's on the council. Uh, has a weird um, musical instrument loot thing. Oh, uh, he goes, oh, yes, yeah, I know the family. They live around the corner. It's the largest house on the on the block. Uh, block is that the, on the street? It's the largest house in the um, of the nobility. It's just round the corner. You can't miss it. Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, have a good night. Don't get killed? Question mark. <laughs> um, and go walk off and go find the largest house around the corner. <laughs> um. Well, it's not hard to. Sp- it's not hard to see this this house is well it's not as as extravagant as the um council building yeah um but it is is it's very posh i bet you there's a lot of things to steal in here i'll go knock on the door well it's sort of a gated building Uh so there's like a gate and there's like a bell pull uh a bell pull thing attached to the wall that will Rope. like summon someone pull the thing i was thinking more of a metal like a cast oh, iron uh, like a thing. clanger thing oh yeah it's... no 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 like you oh. just pull it and it rings a bell for probably in the house or something oh my god <laughs> so do <fancy>. it <laughs> whatever it is carl is yanking it why are you eating the boar <laughs> um shara and Brody, you hear the bell go but go off and you hear something, you know, the door open and close, and as one of the servants heads out to uh, go investigate who's who's ringing the bell at this time of night. Um, this well-dressed gentleman in livery approaches you. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm looking for Shara and uh, Brody. All right, and who who are you? I'm Carl. Carl, Carl who? Carl Rogers, their friend. Just wait there a moment. He turns around, turns around, pivots on his foot and heads back into the house. If he's longer than five minutes, I'll ring the door again. Um, uh, a servant walks into the room and approaches your father and sort of whispers in his ear. And he turns and looks at you, Shara. There's a cow at the door. Is that one of your little friends? Yes, he's the one who was chasing the spy. Let's oh, yeah, go find totally. him. And I leap up from the table and run down to the door. We have servants to do this for us. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Carl, how are you? What happened? Sorry, I fell over a vegetable. Are you okay? You're... You're currently standing on the other side of the gate. What gate? <laughs> it's a gated, it's a walled house. There's a wall outside. The house is in the centre and there's a wall with oh. a garden. I did not realise that from the map. So so you're yelling at so me. I'm just shouting across the courtyard. I'm just no, no. Like, so Carl's not I at mean, the door. There's... I'm very confused. I thought Carl was at the door. No, I'm at the gate. All right. Well, then I'm just waving from the door and shouting at him. <laughs> Come in! Can't open Jeeves, the gate. Jeeves, open the gate. Jeez, what are you going to do? Make me walk out there in my house slippers? <laughs> I have house slippers. Don't do I have house slippers? Jeeves, um, Jeeves walks <laughs> out and, and <laughs> Jeeves walks across, Jeeves walks across the, 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 the courtyard. Is it a courtyard? Garden, pathway, whatever. Yeah. And opens the uh, gate, unlocks it. Coming in, sir. Thank do you. Do you have any item? Do you have any baggage? Uh, uh, all emotional. You don't want it. <laughs> Just keep walking. He looks confused. Closes the door. <laughs> Shara also looks confused. <laughs> Carl, what happened to all your stuff? Can I get a favor and get my stuff back from the guardhouse? Uh, 
I don't work at the guardhouse, Carl. But you can probably <laughs> know some people that can get my stuff back. I we may have had a bit of a run in with the guards today. They are I, we are I not their have, favorite people right now. I may or may not have locked two of them in the cell and have escaped. Uh, <laughs> do not say that out loud. Shit. I mean, they were pleasant is, and is I Jeeves enjoyed still their here? company. James, is Jeeves oh, well, still James with is, us? Of course he is. He's following you up up the up the path. Do you want me to get rid of him? Carl, what the hell? No! You can't just go around <laughs> murdering people. He looks rather worried. Jeeves has been with my family for decades. Fine. He yeah. was joking, I'll Jeeves. Take... He was joking. <laughs> he is not a murderer. I'm yes, not a murderer. Just a very, japester. Very, very funny, ma'am. Um, would would, would ma'am like... Uh, would ma'am like us another table, another plate laid? You hungry, Carl? Yeah, very much so. They did not have good food. Okay, have a seat. Let's go. Where have you been? Uh, Brandish pointed uh, a seat and go down to my meal. I have been occupied. Occupado, if you will. All right, these are my and parents. Who... Are we? I'm assuming we're in the dining room by now. Yes, they're, yeah, they're in the dining room. They're yes. still eating their dinner, even though you, you got up and ran off. Yeah, I'm super casual. I stayed there. <laughs> Brody's been I eating. I stayed there and kept eating. <laughs> All right, obviously Brody's you know like, Brody. That's my dad, Bursid. I, That's my mom, Glendale. Carl? This is Carl. <laughs> he used they to start, live in a mining yeah. town. But you can see that the servants start, like, slicing up some more pork, putting Sweet. some potatoes around it. With, you know, all the trimmings that you get with, like, a bit of stuffing and um, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, so I hear you're on the council. Char has told me this. Um, you should really look into what your guards feed your prisoners. I mean, that's just a common courtesy thing. I may not know anything about that or anything at all. They, 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 they t- um... Also, corrupt guards are a thing. I'm just saying. Uh, Bursid looks, turns to you and goes, what do you mean you feed? About, why would you feed common? Why would you feed the criminal? Why would you feed the criminals decent food? Look, you don't, you just don't need to feed them garbage. You can feed them like stale bread, but not rotten bread. Like that's. What's wrong with rotten bread? Nobody likes it. I wouldn't eat it, obviously. Yeah, you know, but I would, you, have, would you eat it? I have money. Would... I... No, but I have money. That doesn't matter in prison, does it? Extra protein. So then you should eat it. No, I've got money. I eat, well, eat what I pay for. <laughs> what are you even talking about, Carl? You're saying don't feed them maggots, then you're saying... Or don't feed them protein, then you're saying they should eat the protein. No, Why I'm are you saying... even concerned about prison food? What is happening what? and where is your stuff? Oh, are you course. missing some items? I am. Some guards confiscated my things because somebody stole them. A man named Sebastian. Sebastian who? I don't know his last name. Oh yeah, that dude that we were looking for. <laughs> he knocked me down and stole was... all my things and then the guards took his things and he's arrested and uh, now I can't get my things back. He is an accountant. Yeah, some Sorry, dude what was that, Brody? Bean counters. Yeah, just some dude who works with the bean counters. He's an accountant. He works on the council. We tried to catch up with him he's earlier. A, he's also a thief, so he should be embezzling. He might be embezzling. So you were chasing I, Sebastian. He works. Sorry. I believe he works for Lord Randall. Randu, sorry. Lord Randu. Lord Randu. Uh, R A D U. Yeah, he's another elf. <clears throat> oh wait, the flower arranging guy. Flower arranging. Yeah, not the flower no. arranging guy. Which one's no, Lord Randu? Not... I don't know. There's loads of you on the friggin' council. There's the road people. There's the flower guys. There's the. Why? Th- I mean, the landscaping people. Sorry. What? Why they? Why they be no? They they make much money anyway. Some they wouldn't be might. nobles or I merchants. I, I, I think was, we actually had said that at one point that they were on there. 
Oh, okay. Fair because enough. Because there were so many people with money on there that they all had flower arranging people. Um, uh, no, he's, um, he controls the docks. Oh, oh, yeah. Sebastian is totally embezzling then because since the dock workers are there, he he's also afraid to get caught because I had information that he was embezzling <clears throat> and he took my stuff. So now I don't have any of my notes or anything. Also, he stole my giant gem, and I'm very sad about that. It was a gift from my father before he passed away. Carl, oh. how, how did this guy steal all your stuff after you he chased him down the street? I, I slipped on a rock, and mm -hmm. uh, like he just stripped me of my backpack and then Do kicked wanna... me in my face. Can you give me a Defy Danger Road based on charisma, please, Carl? See if they believe your um, <laughs> bullshit. Oh no! <laughs> Nobody's buying Carl's bullshit. Nobody's buying the bullshit. Not even Brody's buying Carl's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and Brody buys my bullshit ninety-seven percent of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Damn the three percent chance of Brody not buying my bullshit. Like yeah. trying to mark XP. I did. <laughs> Carl, why are you okay. so bad at rolling? One of the sir, um, Jeeves walks back into the room. Sir, there's some guards here to see about, gentlemen. Um, he looks at. Oh, shit, he looks Brody. over at. He they looks over us. at Carl. Looks <laughs> over at Carl. I don't think it's for us. I know <laughs> escaped from a, a prison earlier. What? He's he, His eyes look at. Um, uh, look over at Shara. You brought a. F Thief into my house. Oh, oh, hey, I didn't bring him in, man. He just turned up. Remember, I was sitting here having dinner with you. A wanted criminal? I. He was not a wanted criminal last I saw him. Carl, what did you do? I look seriously criminal. at Carl. Damn, I'm Carl. not a criminal. I don't know what you're talking about. Nobody believes you, Carl. Tell us I'm the truth. I'm going to stuff my face some more. Is this how you know about the prison food? <laughs> I'm just eating. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just oh, curious. Well, if you'd like to show the guards in, then we can get this riffraff out of our house. <laughs> God, we can't leave you alone for a minute. Next thing you know, you're going to jail and you're picking around dead guys and playing with puppets. And... What? Every what? time we leave you alone, Brody, dude. Brody, this is not the time or the place to talk about killing people. I have not killed a single soul. Or say, nobody believes that either, but <laughs> we'll let that one go. <laughs> I'm sure. Okay, uh, let's talk to the guards. Find out what happened. The two guards, the two guards that were you locked in the cell, come walking into the uh, into the house. Bail yes, out. That's, yeah, that's him. <laughs> what? No, I've never seen you two before in my life. Uh, one of them walks around the table and sort of pokes you where they bruised you. Uh, you, rin you rinse in pain because of uh, it's still sore. Hmm. I believe I gave you that 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 bruise. No, Sebastian kicked me in my ribs. Right. No one's believing you about Sebastian, by the way. No one. No, no one. Not even the care. servants. <laughs> not even the servants <laughs> believe you. Care. In fact, still trying. Fact, the dog. The dog. <laughs> the dog is shaking its head. I've never been hit by a guard in my life. That's an old injury from also when I was in the mine. <sighs> Floating rib. Floating rib. Uh, they, they put out a, a piece of paper. Is it Carl Rogers? Carl Rogers? Roberts. I said Roberts. Oh, did you? <gasps> oh, I did. Carl, Carl Roberts? No, it's Rogers. You have the wrong person. Give us Christmas roll, please. Oh, Five danger based on Christmas. Yeah. Eight. Eight. <laughs> I got eight. Oh. Well, maybe we do have the wrong person. Is that really the best you could come up with, Carl? Roberts? <laughs> <laughs> shh, Brody, shh. We can talk about this later. 
Fuck I'm Brody. just laughing. <laughs> like, like, kick Brody under the table. Oh, dude. <laughs> the hell, man? Oh, that was probably the dog. Don't worry about it. It's totally not cool. <laughs> Bad dog. Well, if you'd like to come back to uh, to the station with us so we can ask you some questions. Absolutely. I'll come with you reasonably. I'm an upstanding citizen. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Brody this laughs is again. <laughs> best idea, Carl. We have a it's lot fine. of business to be getting along with. Well, I mean, I guess if they, if my compatriots don't want me to leave, uh, you can ask me those questions here. Actually, okay. yeah, we got to like Certainly. Sebastian. We need to find him. I so, am missing some items, though. So I do have a police report for myself. What's the police? Or a guard report. Sorry. A, a missing, uh, a so, missing items. So... So now we do believe that you're Cole Roberts, just because you look like the same person that we hit earlier today. Because he are you? Wait, that sounds racist. Are you assuming all humans look alike? They that they, they look at each other. They're both human. What's what's racist? Everyone's human. What, do you, what does that mean? <laughs> it's not an elf city. Damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna walk over quietly to my dad and be like, Dad, I'm so sorry. Can we make this go away? <laughs> but give quiet us, enough that you guys can't, like, the guards give us a, Give us a, give us a, um, give us a fire danger based on charisma. Fire danger, charisma. And give plus one oh, forward. Seven. Okay, eight. Uh, he goes, fine, but this, this cow is not staying in this house. That is entirely reasonable. He stands up, he pulls out some money, gives some money to the guards, and go, we'll sweep this all under the rug, shall we? They nod. Can I still pick up my stuff? Can I pick Shut up? Shut up, Carl. Missing- I- still they, while they, you're they, ahead. They, they, they turn around, they s- scribble his name out, and and head out. Wait, wait. We, we don't need to, like, you know, tell you guys about this dude who was stealing from us earlier. Name is Sebastian. He works over at the, the council building. They, they turned back to you and said he had nothing on him, so he, he didn't steal anything. But, you guys said that he stole stuff. What did he steal, even? Was it from Thyret? Where is Thyret that? said he stole stuff. I just saw him running away. I thought he was spying on us. <laughs> Mr. Mr. <coughs> Shaw has um, has been vouched for. Sebastian Shaw. Hmm. Who by, can I ask? Uh, uh, Lord Randall. Oh, there's that name again. All right, well, thank you very much, guards. I think we can all agree that everything's been settled here. Maybe. Maybe. Shut up, Carl. Yes. They leave. (laughs) Do you want to scratch... Do you want to now actually scratch all your items off your off your sheet? Yeah, everything's already oh. marked off. <clears throat> they turn. So the parents turn to your um, so turn to uh, Cole. Will we suggest that you um, finish up your meal and um, go find a place to uh, stay? Fine. Can I get? Can I get some to go? Oh my god. Shut go? What do you, what'd you right mean? Now. Like, you know, wrapped up in a thing to go so I can eat while I'm walking around trying to find a place to stay. They they look at you like you're speaking in some foreign tongue. What do you mean? Char is pretending she hears none of this and is just shoveling food in her face. Fine. I just pick up the plate and start walking out. Uh, do you want to put the plate down? Carl, what are you doing? We're coming with you. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, well, I just... Don't steal my plates. <laughs> bro, bro, what like... are you doing? Fine. God, I'll finish it. I'll shovel the food down and then walk out. 
I okay. get up. I say once again, I'm sorry, mom and dad. He did not seem like a complete fucking lunatic when we were on the road. I think he might be one of those village people. Oh, them type of people. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Which one, which one is he? Is he the Indian or the... No, uh, not no, those or... village people. <laughs> a country man. He's, he does not understand our city ways. It's okay. He's a little bit... And she makes this gesture around her head. Well, like we prepared stupid. your bed. We prepared your bed in a guest room for uh, Brody. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> Brody's uh, like, I'm going to fucking crash here, man. Let me go outside and talk to Carl then. I would not want to impose upon... I mean, obviously he can't stay here because he's crazy. But I don't want to put you, out, you guys out. So let me go outside. I'll talk to Carl. And then I'll come back. We can have a nice evening together. And then we'll catch up with Thyred and Carl and the Sebastian guy tomorrow. And I go outside. And hopefully Carl is still walking down the courtyard. Yep. Carl! Yes? What are you doing? I apparently have to leave because they don't like me. Yes, because you're anything. a wanted criminal and they are the uh, leaders of the council and they cannot be sheltering a wanted criminal. I'm not a and wanted And obviously criminal. you're not a wanted criminal now because you just made my dad put his reputation on the line for you. What did you do? What I happened? I didn't ask him to do that. No, I did that because I thought we were friends. We are friends. I thought you were a decent person. So do the decent thing. I am a thing. decent person. And tell me what the fuck you did, and what the hell happened with Sebastian. Well, we both got caught, uh, we both got arrested, and then they started beating me and feeding me maggot food, and then I just, like, you know... What did you get arrested and... for? What were you doing? I don't know, they just kept holding me and wouldn't tell me. So you were walking down the street, and the guards just no, I picked was, you up? I was chasing, you no, know, I was chasing Sebastian, we were talking to each other, and, like, with you know, with the guards... The... No, the guard caught us, and he's like, well, what are you in for? And we're like, what are you two doing? And I'm like, he's a thief. And he's like, no, I'm a thief. And I was like, no, he's a thief. And <laughs> it went back and forth. And, uh, right. well, then we both got arrested. Then the guard beat me and fed me maggot food. And then I bobbed and weaved out and locked them in a cell and left and lost all of my things. And then I had to go to the bar to the, go to the council to go to fucking find your place. And then now I'm kicked out of here. Right. With nothing. And you tried to steal our plates. I wanted to take it to go. I was going to return it. Okay, your terrible manners aside. So you got arrested because Sebastian accused you of being a thief. Yes. Technically, he's not wrong. But that's by the by. So the guards beat I, you up. Well, I mean, guards beat people up because they on. thought you were just, a thief. Just, just so you know, does Cole radiate or... Announced that he's a thief to everyone he meets. No, I thought we knew he was a thief. Hey, yeah, you probably would. You probably he is know stealing he's a thief. shit all the time. <laughs> I mean, it's not. Well, he's not really stolen shit so much as he's just taken it from dead <laughs> yes. bodies and things. He's taken everything at about I've every stole, turn. I've stole a pig. We were hungry. <laughs> Hey, what he well, he did steal a pig, village, too? So he is definitely, yes, a certain roguelike characteristic to him. We know he stole a pig, so we know he's technically a thief. And then Good he breaks, breaks into people's houses and takes shit, tries to steal something from dead people. He did break into, Didn't he yeah. steal something well, from the, from the inn that. at the other town? <laughs> I didn't even break into the house. The back door was open. <m <Ellie> I'm not there for but... <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's still, He's still enjoying his meal. He's still enjoying He's being the smart one. He's still eating. And... Yeah. Well, having Cody's a great just time. like, this is good. Anyway. Look. Anyway. There's a nice inn just outside the center, because this area is called the center, because we're very imaginative around here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can stay there. Tell him that it's on Shara's tab. And we All will right. come get you in the morning. Try not All to right. steal anything. Try not to accuse anybody of any kind of crimes. Keep your head down and your mouth shut. But then how can I do not be buying rounds for the rest of the bar. You Shara, can have drinks you for yourself, and I will count. Shower, can you, 
Shara, can you give me a Defy Danger based on intelligence, please? Uh, give yourself plus two to the roll. Plus two. Uh, is this to determine that she's going to so figure that out that nobody's going to buy two. Carl's with her? <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Yeah, you, you, you know that without you there, they're not going to buy that. You're going to have to actually <laughs> give him some actual money. Oh, God. I forgot my tab is may i may have did you leave with a full tab i may have done that a couple of times mm. okay here is some money and i give him 20 coins okay Yay. which puts me on 91 so find find a decent inn i don't care where you go no we gotta find you somewhere. Go to the one just down the road, okay? You walk down the street. It'll be the first end you see on your right. Go there. We'll sure find you in the morning. Right. It's All called right. the um. It's called the hanging basket. The, the hanging, hanging basket. basket. You'll recognize okay. it from the hanging baskets and the flowers and all that stuff. Okay. Okay. That's that sounds reasonable. I can deal with that. Fantastic. You don't have no choice. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could leave. You think what we give you would damn well like it. <laughs> Jeez, God. All right, fine. Jeez. All right. Uh, all right. I'll see you tomorrow morning, I guess. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> see you By later. By the way, if you try and run away, then we may tell the guards. Wow. Really? You're. Wow. <laughs> I thought we were friends. And I turn and just walk out the gate. <laughs> Okay, and I go back inside. <laughs> All right, go go to the inn and pay for my room and have a Okay, nice... what's your charisma? Uh, fifteen. Okay, fifteen coins. God, God damn! All right, fine. Give him fifteen uh, coins. Fifteen coins. You've got a room for a week. Oh, hey, okay. That works. <laughs> I thought it was going to be for a night. I was going to be like, son of a bitch. <laughs> um, it does include meals as well, like it, breakfast and lunch. Uh, breakfast and dinner. Oh, sweet. Yeah, full board. Yeah, I like half this. Half board, is it not? I believe is that's what it's called. I thought breakfast, half board was dinner, just breakfast. Bre I could be wrong. No, breakfast and dinner is half board. Full board is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. God, who goes Ooh. back to a hotel for lunch? I don't know. No one. Old people. Old people. There you go. Mm. Unless you're in Vegas, there's always a restaurant. Uh, and I assume, yeah, the, the night carries on a bit. The, the, your parents are a bit, like, more quiet now. They're a bit embarrassed by that whole, like, esp uh, espionade, esp escapade. Whatever word I'm escapade. Yeah. yeah, that's the word. Um, with, with your friend Cole. And they don't really say much else during that... Um, during the meal, they just eat. Uh, after you get to the, uh, uh, it's um, like a uh, apple pie with custard, egg custard, like, and uh, yeah, and then eventually uh, uh, the the gentlemen retire into the uh, the the smoking room and have a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> a cigar. You're giving us. It's only a cigar. A good cigar. And then. Oh, uh, you almost like him. Dad, hi. And, and then, and then you, Brody and then, looks way and, better now they've met Carl. And then, um, yes, you are like a shining <laughs> guest compared to Carl. And I then, thought um, I was a beautiful guest. And then you. us. You. I assume everyone retires. Yep. And. While we're during our break, you might as well go up a level. Yeah. Well, if, you, if, you, if you've if you've um, if you've got enough XP to go up a level. Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. So, so we'll see you all uh, in about ten minutes, maybe a bit longer. We'll probably be in um, we'll go into intermission as well, so that we can just chat. I might go make myself a cup of tea because I really fancy a cup of tea. All right. Um, but yeah, once once we come back. Um, we'll 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 find out what they've updated, what they've increased, and 